the kind of work ethic that you find from him, I've never seen in another nine-year-old ever. Seeing him move as a nine-year-old, like it's really impressive. His change of direction, his footwork, his ability to come out here and work. Like not a lot of nine-year-olds would do what he's doing now. He'll make catches that sometimes high school kids aren't gonna make. For someone to do something every day for years consistently, they gotta have some love for it. He comes in and he wants to bring everything. He's focused and what he really wants in life is to be a football player. What's the sport? Y'all remember me from No Days Off? I'm Baby Gump, the number one football player in the world. And this is, I could do that. Today I'm gonna show you guys three challenges to show how fast and strong I really am. I'm gonna show you guys I'm the best youth football player in the world. I'm trying to make him the most versatile football player to ever exist. Baby Gronk's improved since we shot No Days Off. His knowledge of the game, understanding what's happening, him seeing it and reading it, the change of direction, the side movement. I'm the best fourth grader in the world because my body size and I move different. Let's go! So what you're gonna see today out of Madden, he's going to show you his speed, he's gonna show you his ability to make plays and make catches. That just pure athleticism that he has, you'll see that in the way he catches the ball. We're gonna do a tracking drill. You'll see the way he uses his eyes to find the ball and go track it and go get it. How you doing? I'm Scott Mullenix. I am a performance coach here at Sports Academy at the Star. And for our first challenge we're gonna have today with Baby Gronks, so we're gonna have him do a receiving track and drill at about 20 yards. He's gonna get three attempts to do that. Yeah. Here we go. Set, go. Now. Come on. Set, go. Now. Set, go. Now. Owen's my quarterback on my tackle football team. I've known for, for two, two years. years. Yeah. I've seen him make some amazing catches um, since I've been playing with him. Yeah, yeah, you can catch a ball on your back, but can you catch him with some dish? Bro, I have the best hand in TikTok. There you go! Let's go! Bro, that was one hand, it was so fun. Challenge number two here, we've got Baby Gronk. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a four step out. He's gonna catch a ball, he's gonna drop it. He's gonna get vertical to the go route. He's gonna catch one over his shoulder. And the third and final phase of this drill is gonna be a comeback. So he's gonna run from the top of the go through his comeback, catch a toe tap at the line and be done. Let's see how he does. Ready, hit. Come on, baby. You gotta make that catch. Ready, hit. Oh. Keep running. Yeah, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Guys, I need a quarterback change. Here you go. Say hit. Oh. There it is. Now that we're ready to get our 5-10-5, what I'm gonna do is bring Scott in. Scott, come tell us a little bit more about the 5-10-5 drill. Cool, so with the 5-10-5 drill, what we're really gonna look at, I would say the average fourth grader is gonna be between six and seven seconds on when we're doing this. Are you gonna do that? Yeah. Perfect, so hey, so when we're doing setting up for the 5-10-5 drill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Matt in here. He's gonna stand and split the line right here in between both his legs. As he goes on, on his command, he's gonna go, swipe the line, here, swipe the line, and then he's gonna finish through here. What do you think you're gonna run, Matt? A 4-9. Woo! That's cooking. That's cooking right there. You ready to go? On you. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Still got 489. What? I told you he's moving good. Oh my god. 489? We were thinking like six, seven? That's awesome. Madden, you think you can beat 489? Yeah. Let me see it. Come on. On you. I told you I can do that. Today, you're just watching him you know, in person, seeing the constant drive. Like I can see it in him that he wants to be great. I gotta go hard 100% all the time. 
And with Madden, I know he's going to come in, he's going to work hard, he's going to give the exact same effort that our pro guys are doing. When that happens, you know, you've got a kid that's nine years old, there's nothing but upside. Watching him compete today was, was something that, you know, I'll definitely remember for a long time. We're proud of him, absolutely proud of him.